the victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. But this isn't any regular matchup. It's a battle of top tens, a couple of forces meeting head to head where one team will try to make a resonating statement. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Oregon Ducks taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Wolverines will kick it away to start. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Oregon Ducks offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he comes just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rates of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find a way to try to slow this guy down. And he... And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. What a great play. Winning one-on-one, -on -one, getting home and getting a sack. And that kind of effort is going to get the big house fired up. These 100,000-plus Michigan Wolverine fans are on their feet screaming because of that dominant play right there coming from their D-line. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Leaves it with the back. Fates his man out. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. So Michigan's offense will take the field for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll leave it with him. Can't get him to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Caught near the sticks. It's Edwards. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. And the Wolverines have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Moving out of the pocket. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action. Understand his pass. Beats the guard. Gets to the quarterback and gets the QB on the ground.
A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Out of the gun. The running back has it. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. They're trying to get to him. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because the speed on defense. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hash. And the try is no good. After the miss, no change in the score. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. You're trying to break this scoreless tie, and instead you knock it off the post. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit from this one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying to get the corner. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the head coach told us in pregame he liked the way his defensive speed matched up, and it's really hard to get the edge against these guys. Yeah, and everybody wants to run outside and get their fast guys in space, but you look at how fast these backers close and run the football, it looks like you've got a little bit of space out wide, and then, boom, it's gone in a hurry. He lets one fly deep. He's got it down the left. All kinds of running room. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter. And I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it done with a big play, a 76-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Gets it out quickly. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Early in the game as a DB, I'm settling in. It, it, it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. Offense gets set for second down. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Quickly complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. 
Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for him. Uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The run from the shotgun. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. The Wolverines are rolling down the field. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Inside the big house, they have those big condominiums down there on the field paving the way for the running backs. Big, huge condominiums, and, and every year it's a little bit different of, of how they wear their uniforms and how they fit their uniforms, but the style, always the same. Line up, hit you right in the mouth. That's who Michigan is. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. That's a really nice pass. You can see why this guy right here gives the Michigan faithful reason to be optimistic. You know, for years we know Michigan has always been good at running the football, but they've got to be able to throw. They've got to be more consistent making big plays through the air. This guy gives them that chance. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? In football, you hear the term quick but don't hurry. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate with his pass. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They go with the option, quarterback keeps it himself, and look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. They're a perfect two for two on third down on this drive. Throws for the end zone. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. Right down the boulevard, it's good.
So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They go to the ground. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After picking up a couple at second and eight, they'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Feeling some heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to pass, it's Gabriel trying to get to him. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And this defense stepping up, I love it. you got to match your offense. Your offense has got it rolling. Now this defense is doing their part. The Ducks decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the return, it's Morgan. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. And stick him to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The inside handoff. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third-down situations. Out of the gun, the inside give. Finds a crease at the 20. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Might as well give it to him again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. 
Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He caught it! Into the end zone! Touchdown, Ducks! Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Handoff to the single running back. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They run the reverse. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. And I tell you what, I love the versatility of wide receivers nowadays. You can handle the football in many different ways, but I like like this. Get him going full speed in motion. He's already got all that speed built up. Hand him the football. He can chew up five yards in a hurry, get you those critical yards you need to put you in better situations. Got his man quickly. And midfield, he's got room. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. They knock him down right there. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of that. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. Grabbed in the middle. It's Loveland. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you, to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. 
This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Catch in the middle, it's Morris. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and settle. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half, and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two minute every single week for this exact situation. They'd love to be able to go generate a few more points before taking it into the locker room. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. He finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into it. He's looking for an open man on second down. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return, but that small change, they take over at the 43. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good cover and corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to shrink and it gets a little bit more difficult. Catch in the middle. It's Morris. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And the Wolverines trying to cash it in on first and goal. They move the tight end all over. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. That's a phenomenal job getting after the quarterback and getting a hit on him to affect his accuracy, because if they didn't get the pressure, that was going to be a touchdown. He had a guy wide open in the end zone. That was a golden opportunity, but the defense comes up big. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they cut it to a 14-13 game. 
quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Getting some heat. Got it behind the line. It's James. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Pressure coming. Blasted as he lets it go. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas in the booth at Michigan Stadium. And the Ducks will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Fires to the big fella. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. He wants to throw here on second down. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Making great decisions. That's what all of the legendary Michigan quarterbacks have done. John Navarre, Elvis Gerback, and the guy can't remember drafted in the sixth round by the Patriots. Yeah, what, that guy, what was his name? Tom, Br Tom Brady? Yeah, I think, I think that's his name. Yeah, he, he was pretty good too, but... When you think about Michigan, you don't always think about the quarterbacks and you don't always think about airing it out. But again, if you want to be a great college football team nowadays, you better be able to throw that pigskin. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. And the defense not fooled at all as they stop this play at the line. It is so easy when you're a defensive player, when you watch a little misdirection of the ball go one way, to turn and to run. That's not my job. My job is to stay home. The defensive did a good job of that. Defense stayed home, made the play. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's going to take off. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Nice scramble. Unbelievable job after dropping back to pass and understanding the situation. And a nice heads-up play. Slide. Live to fight another down. Don't try to make a bigger play and run through somebody big and get yourself hurt. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. The give to the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Trying to make magic with his feet. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. 
Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. And the Wolverines have it with a first and ten. Looking for room, it's Edwards. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. They'll keep it on the ground. The Wolverines are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. It's not a flashy play call, but that is exactly what it was designed to do. Get two yards, get the first down. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Steps away able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He makes a grab. Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. And the Wolverines will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Movement here from the tight end. Trying to surge it in. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. And you've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled him for a loss. After a drive this long, a field goal would be a punch in the gut. It's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. From the gun, running back on the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Release to the back. Never breaks stride. 
And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's not just a dual threat guy. You go back to Dan Fouts or Bill Musgrave or even Justin Herbert and passers not in short supply for the Ducks. And when you think about the Ducks, you, you always think about the fancy uniforms. I think that's one of the first things that come to mind, but the guys you just named, it's been built on flash, but it's also been built on substance. Great players in their tradition, in their history. And just like now, just in the recent history, Bo Nix, another one of those guys that's put up big numbers. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. The Ducks have it with a first and ten. Here's the handoff. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Grabbed in the backfield. It's James. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. It didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. That's caught. It's Stewart. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Back to work on second and 10 from the 41 after that last incompletion. To the air, it's Gabriel. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Looking to throw it again. Finds his man. It's Stewart. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Yeah, and listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double-team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. It's first down from the 11. From the gun, the running back has it. Brought down at the 7 after picking up 3. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a crease. It's James. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after him. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. 
Great job rallying to the football by this defense. Third down, QB's trying to extend the play, but great team speed on defense now setting up fourth. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. And this to Seesaw back on top here in the fourth. And it's no good. He missed it. And with that miss, still down by a deuce and missing an opportunity to take the lead. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps. And the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The Wolverines will have it first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Going to take a shot. He's got it inside the 30. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. Good pass protection isn't just offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. And the Wolverines are flying down the field. To the air, it's Orgy. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Michigan! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Chris, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Robinson. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Pulled it, finds his man on the left. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? The back goes in motion. Wants to throw on second down. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To throw, it's Gabriel. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. 
the big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all Don means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Ball in the air. Intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's a really good job by the defense. Understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Let's it go. Finds a man on the right. Touchdown, Wolverines. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. They'll run it. Push down for the tackle. Well, they decided to try to run it in on that two-point play. He got two yards, but he needed one more. They fall short. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field and score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. The Ducks racing to the line in the hurry up. Going up top on first down. He unleashes a long one. Hits him inside the 20, still going. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Oregon. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one-possession game. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. The quick out. 
This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. A jet sweep pass. The Wolverines get the first down. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Smart move to keep it on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. At this point, the defense just has to bring the house to try to stop the run and get the ball back, even on second and 13. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is a third and long. To the ground with the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Running it back, it's Johnson. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Makes a catch down the right side. Oh, look out! Touchdown, Ducks! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And I tell you what, great job by this offense. Great execution. You drive down the field. You get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment late in the fourth quarter when you need the two-point conversion? What a big play here as they try to tie it up with the two in the waning moments. To the air, it's Gabriel. He makes the grab for the two, and he ties the game here in the fourth. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Morris. Timeout on the field, and everybody want to make sure they're organized as we come down the gut of the game. Not much time left, but the offense has a shot to end this one in regulation. Wants to throw on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped.
The Wolverines will line it up on first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He'll run it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The offense uses a timeout, 20 ticks remaining. You got to call the game to win it right now. Less than a minute to go. A field goal is going to do it for you. Every time you drop back and throw the ball, you're risking taking a sack. So if you're going to throw it, the ball's got to come out quickly. But I think at this juncture, you'd love to be able to run and give your field goal kicker a chance. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It's good! A powerful kick 